Hi, so this video is for the Brilliance uh, Mystery Knit Along pattern, um, specifically Clue 3, the SK2P uh, stitch. So what I'm going to do, I this is a larger, um, <laughs> this is a thicker yarn, um, larger needles, so that it's a little bit more obvious. So I'm going to, I'm just going to, uh, walk through it real quick on this, and then I will actually sh work it on the actual um, pattern a couple of times just, just to be really clear. Um, so what I wanted to do is, first off, I wanted to, um, I wanted to kind of explain or kind of go over when you, when you're working a uh, yarn over. Um, so let me see, let me figure out where I am here in the pattern. So... Okay, so normally when you um, when you work a yarn over, there's there's a bunch of different ways you could, so you can work from a, a knit stitch, then a yarn over, and then follow that with a purl stitch. So that would be a knit to purl yarn over, or you can have a purl stitch, and then a yarn over, and then a knit stitch. So that would be a purl to knit yarn over. Um, you can also have a purl to purl yarn over, but the ones that we're doing here are technically knit to knit yarn overs. So, um, for instance, when I do this yarn over before I knit these three stitches, I'm bringing the yarn to the front and then it's, yeah, it's kind of coming over the needle, but I'm actually not completing that yarn over until I work this first knit stitch. So I just finished a knit stitch. I brought the yarn to the front and yes, it's going to come over the needle, but the yarn over isn't completed until I lock it in by working the next stitch. Okay, so when I knit that stitch, that knits the stitch, that's like it completes that knit stitch, but it's also completing that yarn over. Okay, so, <clears throat> and every time we're working a yarn over before the SK2P, we have to lock it in with working part of that, that stitch. So, let me get to that part of the pattern, and then I'm gonna zoom in for you here. And I'm gonna try really, really hard to stay in the frame because I can't watch my hands and the camera. Okay, so I've just finished the knit three. So in the pattern, you you um, whether you're on row uh, three or row seven, before you work the SK2P, you would knit, knit, knit. So knit three stitches and then you work a yarn over. So you're going to bring the yarn to the front, whether you're um, using your right hand or your left hand, it doesn't matter. You're going to bring your yarn to the front, but then before you actually bring it over back to the back, you're just going to kind of let it hang out here. So first you're going to do the slip stitch. So the S of the SK2P is slipping this first stitch purl wise, which is just your needles are tip to tip and it's just sliding straight across. So you slip that first stitch purl wise. You still got your working yarn hanging out here in the front. And then you're gonna do the knit two together part. So you're gonna go insert your needle um, through those two stitches as though you're gonna knit them knit them together. And so you've got your, your needles crossed and then you need your working yarn. So at this point, it's going to come from the front to the back over the needle and then around behind to wrap around and complete that knit two together. And so in that one movement, I've completed the knit two together and finished the yarn over. And then to finish the SK2P, we just need to grab this slip stitch, which sometimes that yarn over will actually cross over. So you can see um, like back here, the yarn over is actually crossed over that, that slip stitch. But you should be able to take the tip of your left needle and just grab under that front leg and then um, pull that off of the needle over the, the knit two together, all right? So again, following the SK2P, we have another yarn over and then followed by three knit stitches. So when we work this yarn over, it's not completed until we knit that first stitch. So we bring the yarn, we bring the working yarn, sorry, back up, bring the working yarn to the front to make the yarn over, but then we're gonna insert the needle like we're gonna knit that stitch and then wrap the yarn around. So when the when the yarn comes over the stitch over the needle and gets wrapped around is when that yarn over gets completed and then we complete complete the knit stitch. Okay, so knit two more and then I'll do that SK2P one more time on my little swatch here. 
Um, so you bring the working yarn to the front to make the yarn over, but you're not going to bring it back to the back yet. So um, begin the SK2P by slipping the first stitch purlwise. So just tip to tip, slide that stitch right over, and then go to make the knit two together. So insert your right needle into those two stitches. Um, so you're, you're going from the front to the back, um, around the, <laughs> uh, you're not going back here and you're not going pearl wise. You're going knitting into those two stitches to get them together. And that's when you bring your working yarn from the back or from the front to the back and wrap and complete the knit two together. And then you can just insert your needle under that leg of the slip stitch and lift it off. Okay, and so that completes the SK2P. And then just um, for reference, if you wanna see it worked in the pattern, if, you, if you're good to go, feel free to leave. You don't need to watch the whole rest of the video. Um, but on my, on my actual um, project here, so I've, I'm at the beginning of a row seven, I've worked the pearl and the knit two together. Um, so I have a yarn over, which again, I don't complete that yarn over until I work this next, next stitch. So knit three, one, two, three. And then for that SK2P, it's going to be worked across the three stitches right here. So you can see this is, this is the, the diamond that's already gotten thick and then we're going to diminish that down to, um, one stitch basically. So you're going to, Bring your yarn, working yarn to the front, slip the next stitch purlwise, then go into the next two stitches to knit together, and then bring the working yarn to the back and wrap and complete the knit two together, and then uh, put your left needle into the front leg of that slip stitch and just lift it over and off. Okay, so yarn over, knit three, two, three and then we'll work that one more time sk2p after the yarn over so to yarn over we bring the working yarn to the front and just leave it there slip the first stitch purlwise go into the next two stitches to knit them together and then bring the working yarn to the back and wrap it and complete the knit two together and that completes the yarn over so it completed this yarn over and the knit two together and then we're just going to lift that front leg of the slip stitch up and off. So I hope that helps. I, I tried writing it out. I tried writing out what I just did and it just seemed really convoluted. So I hope this is more useful. Let me know if you want to see anything else. Thanks.